Okay, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going to play a game with a viewer. Tipo Sev2. Probably butchering the name. But uh, Tipo Sev has left me a lot of comments and tips and stuff, so I figured I'd play a game with him. Why not? Uh, okay, cool. So I'm hoping this is not going to be a fried liver attack. I'm exp expecting pawn d3 here. Perhaps. Okay, so that's what I thought it was going to be. Um, I think he's going to plan to jump to g5, so I'll protect g5 with a pawn. Really quick announcement while he's making that move. I've made a Discord server where people can come and um, send me challenge requests. I've been trying to figure out the best way to kind of manage all the challenges that people have been asking me for. And um, the YouTube comments are kind of not the best way to do that. And so I'll basically just be posting when I'm available for challenges uh, on my server. I made a room specifically for it. So if you're interested in that, feel free to join. I'll have a link down in the description. Let's see. I'll make a developing move here. Also, I've made a uh, channel on that server for uh, tips. A lot of people like to um, leave tips for me, which uh, I think is awesome. Um, I try to read as many of them as I can, but it's not always possible just because of the way the YouTube comment system works. It's kind of hard to read all of them in one place. So I just made a separate channel for that if that's something that uh, you'd want to do. I think I'm going to fall back with the bishop. Let's see, my knight is about to get attacked on c6. And I think I'm going to go a5 if he pushes my knight. I think he's going to look to kick it, but I'll just attack his bishop instead. Okay, castles. Um, I think I should do the same. Kind of thinking about a6, b5. That's an idea. I wonder if I should castle or a6, b5. Hmm. His bishop is the most active threat at the moment. So with that being said, hmm. I think I'll just go for it. I do need to be mindful that his queen is sort of on the same diagonal as my king. I think I'll just go pawn b5. And then I think he'll be forced back. I think he'll be forced back to b3, sure. 
now I think it's safe to castle. I also have two attackers on a5. Could potentially attack, go this way, but I think I'd rather just castle. Um, I don't want to jump the knight around too much. Cool. Okay, so opening up the center here. Maybe protecting the bishop is the play, or the pawn is the play on e5 there. I guess if he takes with the pawn. Then he does have a hanging piece on b4. Okay. Also have the option to take this pawn as well. Hmm. I don't know, I can't really do that. I think it's a free pawn, so I just go for it, right? Maybe I'm overextending with my knight a little bit too much. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Kind of might be forced back to E8 here. There's always G4. But this just gets pushed back or kicked back real easily with a pawn. Mm. The knight is protecting d5, so maybe this is the play. I do need to get my queen and my light square bishop into the game at some point. They're very passive. Okay, so I was expecting that. Okay. What is he scheming? I wonder if I should just open up the center. I have two attackers on d6. I don't know if it's worth trying to snag the center here. Or 
develop a bishop. I think if he ever gets his queen um, off of defending f3 here, I'll look to take this knight. Maybe it's worth trading here since I'm up a pawn. Maybe f4 is a better move. I think my knight's just jumping around too much. I do want to trade, but I feel like he's going to be in a better position. He'll have more center control if we trade off here. Maybe I let him have the knight and then get my bishop into into the mix. I could also pin his knight this way. Mm, this idea of basically pinning his knight and eyeing the rook back there. Is that a skewer or a pin? Maybe someone can clarify that for me. Or do we go out here? I think I'm just going to play it safe and defend with the bishop. I don't know. I kind of like this move better. The only thing I don't like about bishop before is that the bishop <clears throat> will be hanging here. Still waiting for him to do something with his queen so I can take his knight on f3 there. Okay. My queen's a little bit stuck. She doesn't really have a good place to go. Maybe that's not the play because he can take that with the knight. And then if I, well, no, even if he takes that with the knight, I'll probably just take with the queen. Okay, so I was kind of expecting that. Um, I think he's... Yeah, okay, I was, I was expecting that. So now I've sort of hung my knight, which is not ideal. I do have this line. So his, his pawn is a bit pinned here. I think what I do is just move up. I'd like to maintain the pin. There's a really good move here. I bet. <laughs> <clears throat> I probably missed it. <laughs> King H3. King H3. Wait, h3. King h3. How would I do that? I do still have mate in two, although I don't think 
he would fall for it. Mm, he's up now. I wonder how he defends this. He can't go F1. He can't go H1. He can put his queen on F3. But even that's not great. Oh, that's a good block. All right, and then now I can't go here. Hmm. There is always this. King h3. I don't quite follow that one. I'm not sure what he meant, but I'll have to ask him after the game. <laughs> Do I take? I'm down, so I don't want to take. Hmm. Maybe this is just the move. I don't know if that's the right move or not. My rooks are really um, passive too. King H3. I'm going to figure that out. Was it... Hmm. I'll have to go back and look at that position. He does have check, which is not great. I think I might have just lost since I opened up F6. On move 18. Oh, with the knight. Of course. Oh, maybe I'm reading that notation wrong. I think he meant NH3. Um, I could be wrong about that. Yeah, I think I just lost this one because of that. Oh, unfortunate. Um, okay, I think we kind of have to run here, right? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Mm. You do? Mm, I don't know if he's losing. I think he's winning. Yeah, I don't think he was losing. I guess we have to trade at this point, don't we? Ah, I kind of choked there. Yeah, GG, GG. Thanks, Tipasev, two for the game.
think he goes by a different name on YouTube. But uh, let's check out the game review. I'm mostly curious about that one position. Uh, it looks like I had some advantage there at some point. Um, let's go to move 18. So I actually had a really big advantage here. I'm surprised. Ah, uh, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so this cre so what would have happened if I went here? So he'd be forced here. Ah. Uh, and I could basically take his queen, right? Mm, yeah. I see. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to message him and <laughs> tell him I see what I mean now. <laughs> okay. Um, let me go just through some of these other moves and see if I blundered anything at the end here. I think, honestly, it was anyone's game towards the end. G5 is an inaccuracy. Hmm. Yeah, I feel silly for not seeing that. Let me go back to that one more time. Yeah, in my mind, what I was seeing was the bishop on the open diagonal here. And I was hoping I could get there in two moves. But yeah, no, he's totally right. This is a check and then a discovered attack. So I guess that's where the tactical knowledge comes into play. Uh, this is probably the game deciding position and move here, I suppose. So yeah, it looks like he spotted it. I was ignoring his queen largely here. So, hmm. Yeah, bit of a bummer to see that. But I had the right idea. I just didn't see the tactic. So, yeah, in my head, I was just too fixated on getting the queen out to h3. And I kind of just failed to um, observe some other options here. So, hmm. Yeah, that would have been a really good move, huh? And then, yeah, then I'd have a 10 point advantage, which um, I probably could have followed through with, with a possible win. But, um, yeah, let me see if there's anything else that I could have done here. Okay, so this is the right move. That was okay. This was a okay, huge mistake, apparently. Huh, so this gave him, gave him mate in three. Oh, wait, was his queen open and I didn't even take it? Oh, his queen was open. I didn't even take it. Oh. What was I thinking there? Hopefully he wasn't just trying to be nice or something. Ah, he had an open queen. Wow. Open queen. Wide open for the taking. Why was what was I thinking about this pawn? Okay, so I had two really big mistakes in this game. But um this kind of goes back to what I was saying about I need to scan the entire board when I play. So a few lessons here, no big deal. But uh yeah, I don't I don't think we need to go through the rest of the review. I think those two um I think those two sort of frames or positions were probably the most important ones from the game. But yeah, thanks for the game. Tipa sub two, GG, and uh yeah, see you guys later.